Hi, I'm Zane Beatles, offensive lineman for the Denver Broncos. This is Zane Beatles Parade Foundation. Football has been able to give me so many opportunities in my life, and it's really important for me to be able to present those opportunities that I've been given back to people that may not have those opportunities, people that are in unfortunate situations, children that have uh, bad things going on in their lives, and, and it's really important for me to be able to do that for them. The elephant, as you can see, is a big part of Zane Beetle's Parade Foundation. Uh, I, I think of myself as an elephant. If I were a wild animal, that's the animal that I would be. Elephants are, are very territorial and support their, their families and their friends very much. I'm very much that way. Elephants are large animals. I'm a large animal. Um, elephants are, are very intelligent animals. They have great memories. And uh, it takes a lot to make an elephant mad, but once you do, they, they wreck shop. So, um, you know, that, that's a big piece of why the elephant is important to me. Elephants represent good luck, strength, um, giving back to the community. Uh, these are all very important things to me, and that's a big reason why the elephant is so predominant in what I do. Currently, Zane Beetle's Parade Foundation supports Brent's Place and Cabe's, two organizations here in the Denver area. Brent's Place provides safe, clean housing for children going through cancer treatments where they can stay there with their families while they're going through a hard time. CABES offers after-school engineering and math tutoring programs uh, for underrepresented youth in the Denver area. Two great organizations that I've aligned myself with, uh, having the engineering degree as well as uh, lots of cancer in my family and uh, just wanted to, to be involved with kids with cancer. So we're always looking for, for new organizations and new causes to support that align with our mission, which is enriching the lives of children in unfortunate situations through new experiences and opportunities. Here's how you can help. Volunteer, choose to give a gift, pass the word along, or keep your eye out for one of our events. Now, and the offensive line has been pretty banged up these days. But guard Zane Beatles has been healthy and steady. Beatles also reliable tonight as he stopped by Sports Zone. Fox 31 Denver's Cammie Carmen sat down with Zane to talk about his football work and his charity work, which focuses on helping kids. All right, thanks. I'm here now with Zane Beatles and Keegan Gerhard, two big guys. Big involvement in the community as well, of course, Zane. We all know that you've been involved with the community a lot. Charity is a big part of what you do. Anyone that follows you on Twitter knows this. But this year you're kind of stepping it up with the Zane's Parade Foundation. Talk a little bit about how this is kind of a, a new game, and, and it's not just a little involvement. You're going big now. Yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> we're stepping up into the, the big world of the, yeah. the charity stuff. And, um, you know, it's uh, very important for me to be involved in the community, I think, with the platform that I've been given. Um, and the things that I've been blessed with, it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to give back. And um, one of my goals in life was to start a nonprofit organization. So here we are with the Zane Beatles Parade Foundation. And I uh, got that up and running this off season. It took a lot of work, but we're, we're on track now and, and things are going well. So it's very exciting. Most and one of the guys you have in your corner, Keegan Gerhardt, of course, a lot of people know him from the yeah. Food Network, mm -hmm. on. creating deliciousness at nice D-Bar <laughs> Desserts here <laughs> in Denver, of course. How'd you get involved with Zane and tell me about why you're kind of committed and passionate to this foundation? It, it was through Brent's Place, mm -hmm. actually. Brent's Place original location was much smaller, right around the corner from D-Bar. 
and we hope to raise money for them to go to this bigger facility. Anyone that follows Zane on Twitter, you know about the Cakes for Cancer, but now we're taking this to a whole nother level with the Pancake Breakfast. We're going to try to get as many people there as we can. We're going to have all kinds of activities for kids. It's easy to find a way to give back, and I don't think people believe truly that you can make a difference. One person can make a huge difference, and, and Zane's showing that right now, so I'm on board 100%. All right, let's quickly talk about the other elephant in the room, that preseason game. <laughs> <laughs> knew that was coming. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Now, obviously, this is, so, this is preseason, and now we get so fired up about these preseason games. It's, it's really, it really is insignificant what happens in these games. But for you guys, it is a measuring stick. And what did you take away from that game? Because I know the media has their take, the fans have their take. What do you guys take away from that? Well, well first of all, we did a lot of good things in that game. Um, you go back and look at the tape, and, and there's plenty of things that we did, did well. Uh, the preseason is for learning. And so, you know, that's the big thing is going looking at this tape and saying, all right, you know, where do we need to improve? Obviously, four turnovers is not going to win you a lot of ball games, especially when, when you don't get one on the other side of the ball. And it's kind of a weird feeling when you're on the sideline because you're like, man, it, it shouldn't be this way right now, but those turnovers just kill you. And um, so, you know, that's the biggest thing I think we'll need to focus on this week going into the third, third week of the preseason. You're one of the few guys that's been able to stay healthy on the O-line. Sure. Yeah. Knock, knock on <laughs> wood. Which has been yeah. huge. Knock on wood. Talk about how much, I mean, at this point, when you see one of your guys go down, is it like, here we go again. I mean, it's been, it's almost gotten to a, a ridiculous level. It, it's, it's been tough. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we've had a lot of guys go through some stuff and, and guys that are battling back to get it back on the field as hard as they can. And um, it's the way that football is, but you know, it, it is, uh, you, you never want to see that, especially guys that you spend so much time with, guys that you develop relationships with. Um, it, it's tough to see. So, um, we're going to go out there and put our best foot forward week in and week out, and, and we've got plenty of good guys uh, that can step in and, and play great football, and uh, it'll be good definitely at, at this point with all the, the uh, reps that guys are getting right now in the preseason for when we do get guys back um, to have that depth and, and those people that have played meaningful minutes. I don't ever give them grief, really. Yeah. I didn't say Just anything about bit. the score yesterday, did I? <laughs> he didn't. That's he it. Didn't. Take the turnovers away, and last night was all right. All right, there you go. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Of course, the fundraising ever coming up on Sunday, September 8th. That'll be a big deal for Zane's Parade Foundation, and congrats on the new gig. Thank you. Getting thanks it up for and going. Us. And Keegan, thanks for being part of it. Thank you. Come down and see us on September 8th. It'll be <laughs> fine. Absolutely. All right. All right, thanks, guys. All right, you can get more info about Zane's Parade Foundation on our website. Just go to kdvr.com. for the running backs and he protects Peyton Manning. Broncos guard Zane Beatles also though gives back to the community starting the Zane Beatles Parade Foundation helping kids who live in unfortunate situations. Zane kind enough to get up early this morning and join us to talk more about his foundation and the team. It's good to see you. Thanks for the time. Yeah. Let's really. talk about the team. Uh, last night uh, you were one of those uh, starters who got to watch the game but now it really starts. You got a week to get ready for the Ravens and it's not only a big football game, it's not only the opener, it's, it's a rematch. It's a, it's a game that you guys have to really want because of what happened last year. Yeah, it, it's a big game and it's coming quick. You know, usually uh, we've got a few days off this weekend to kind of get into things and, and get going next week, but we're right into it. 
um, with the Thursday kickoff, and, and it's a big one for us. So. Well, you're familiar with them. You, you play against them. They have a great defensive line, but you're even more familiar with one of the new guys on the Ravens. Elvis Doomerville is going to be over on your side of the field a lot. Uh, yeah, yep. Uh, you know, it was sad to see Elvis go. Him and I worked out, actually, together all, mm -hmm. all, all season during the year last year, and uh, he's a great guy. I wish him the best, but, uh, you Not know, next thir Thursday. Th Thursday night, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we're, we're going to play our best, and, and I'm sure he's going to give us his best. How bitter was that off season because of what you guys had on the table and, and, and what got away? It it's definitely gives some motivation. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, we uh, we have something to prove, and, and uh, we're going to go out and do that. And, you know, I think we've kind of taken that approach the whole off season, kind of having a chip on our shoulder. While you were watching last night, a lot of guys were playing for jobs. Uh, this cut down, you were just telling me, this is going to be the toughest cut you, you can remember. Yeah, absolutely. This is... Uh, we have a ton of talented guys on this team and and um, guys that have played uh, played their hearts out this preseason and this is always the toughest time of year um, for coaches players anybody involved uh, and you know it's not going to be any easier this year all right now I want to talk about your event uh, this you're gonna have next Sunday free which normally you're, you're working on Sunday right but you have a terrific event the cakes for cancer pancake breakfast what's it all about uh, you know it's it's a first uh, event of my foundation that I just started this off season and uh, very excited about it it's uh, gonna be pancake breakfast I'm um, going to have some teammates there, we're going to have some uh, white elephant gifts, a bunch of activities for the kids. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good deal. I'm very excited about it. Uh, the, the proceeds of the event benefit Brent's Place, which is a safe, clean housing environment for kids going through cancer treatments. Now, how did you find Brent's Place? How did you choose to have been Brent's Place as a beneficiary? Um, you know, I, I was looking around the Denver area for something to get aligned with, um, start to give back to the community. A couple years ago, I knew I wanted to do something with kids and cancer and, and looked around the area and found Brent's Place. Uh, and they do awesome work. So it was a, a natural uh, fusion there. Well, let's give people the information. The Cakes for Cancer Pancake Breakfast will be Sunday, September 8th, and it's going to be at the Exto Event Center at 1399 35th Street. It goes from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It costs 25 bucks for ages 12 and up. Kids 3 and under can get in for free. All the information about this event is in the honor section of our website at kwgn.com. Hope you have a great event. Hope you guys are there talking about a, a win over the Ravens come next Sunday. Thanks, Absolutely. Zane. Absolutely. Thank nice you. Nice of you to come by this Thanks. morning. Hi, I'm Zane Beatles, mechanical engineering graduate of the University of Utah, current Denver Broncos offensive lineman, wannabe guitar player, a little bit obsessed with elephants, and I love to help kids. My family is huge in my life. I've had a fair amount of cancer in my family, some grandparents that have lost the battle with cancer, some grandparents that have beat the battle with cancer. I also had a young man named Riker when I was in college who had cancer but loved the University of Utah and wanted to be a part of the football program. We took him in. He was in the locker room with us, he was at practice, and Riker had a big impact on me. At that point, I knew I wanted to do something with kids and something with cancer, which led me to find Brent's Place here in Denver, which was one of the organizations that I decided to support. CAVES, the Colorado Association of Black Professional Engineers and Scientists, is also a, an organization that I like to support. 
having the engineering background that I have, I think it's very important for kids to have that opportunity to to learn the sciences and the math field and, and really get involved in engineering. It was something that I didn't have the opportunity to do in growing up that I think would it would have been awesome for myself. Um, CAVES is a program here in Denver that offers after-school programs in engineering. They do math and SAT tutoring for underrepresented youth, which aligns perfectly with my mission statement. The Zane Beatles Parade Foundation looks to enrich the lives of young people in unfortunate situations by providing new experiences and opportunities. These are two things that we currently do with Brent's Place and Cabes, getting them away from their everyday lives and offering them experiences that may, they may not otherwise be able to experience. Football has been able to provide me with so many opportunities and experiences. The biggest things that I take away from it is the people that I've met and the relationships that I've made. These people leave a, a big footprint on me, and that's what I want to be able to give to children. It is a footprint for their lives and the people that they are able to meet that otherwise they may not be able to meet without the help of Zane's Parade Foundation. Through my work in the community, working with young people, they've made a huge lasting footprint on, on my heart, and I want to be able to do that and give that back to them. They enrich my life very much. And that's why the mission statement of Zane's Parade Foundation is to enrich their lives through new experiences and opportunities. I'd like to first thank my family, who has been a great support in this endeavor. I'd also like to thank the people in my organization, all the way from the board, to the donors, to the volunteers. But we can't stop there. As the demand for our services grows, we need your support. You can help by volunteering, donating, spreading the word, or attending one of our events. Thank you for listening about Zane Beatles Parade Foundation, and I look forward to you joining the parade. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. Looking forward to the season as well. Right now it's 743. And speaking of the Broncos, he's known for making hard hits and protecting quarterback Peyton Manning. Broncos guard Zane Beatles is also committed to giving back to the community. He started the Zane Beatles Parade Foundation to help kids living in unfortunate situations. And Zane joins us this morning to tell us about his foundation. It's so good to have you here. Yeah, thanks Thank for having you for me. Coming. We were talking during the break. Tell me a little bit about your inspiration for this foundation. Um, originally it started, I, I wanted to get involved uh, in the community and, and I've had a lot of cancer in my family. Also when I was in college, there was a little boy, six years old, had a brain tumor and, and was a huge Utah fan and, and we kind of adopted him, brought him in and he would be with us in the locker rooms and, and stuff like that and he had a big impact on me so I knew I wanted to do something with kids and cancer and um, found Brent's Place uh, by Colorado Children's Hospital and, and uh, aligned with them and uh, it's been two years now with them and, and it's been great and now we're stepping things up with uh, the opening of the foundation. Okay, so what will you be doing when the foundation really gets started? Um, so Brent's Place is still going to be a benefactor. Uh, I also work with a, a program called CABES here in the Denver area, which is an after-school program for um, underrepresented youth. It's uh, science and technology. There's engineering classes, math tutoring, SAT tutoring, stuff like that. Um, and, and that's been a great organization also. So those are the two main benefactors to start here. And, um, you know, we've left it open to be able to, to support other things down the road.
You're setting a great example. Good <laughs> for you. you. Uh, it, it, so what about the pancake breakfast? We would love for people to take part in that. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a great time. It's um, September 8th. Um, after a, a big win Thursday night, we're going to have a party on, on Sunday. And um, it's going to be a great event for kids, families. Um, we've got snooze pancakes, um, Epicurean, Solar Roast Coffee. Um, so there's going to be plenty of good food. And then also, you know, we're going to have all the games playing that day. There's going to be activities for all the kids. And, and uh, it's going to be a good time. Nice. Yes. News pancakes and football. I yes. mean, what else could you possibly want? How are you feeling about the game, the Ravens? I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's coming quick. Um, usually, you know, we get a little break this weekend before uh, we get going next week. But with it being Thursday night, we're right into it. And uh, it's coming quick. But like I said, I'm excited. Well, our Broncos uh, always support the community, and you're doing it too, and we really appreciate that. It's a great cause. So I'm going to give the information. Zane Beatles, thank you once again for yeah. being here. And thank best you. wishes. Keep us posted on the foundation. Thank you. First ever Cakes for Cancer Pancake Breakfast is Sunday, September 8th at the Exto Event Center. That's at 1399 35th Street. It's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and it's $25 for ages 12 and up. Kids three and under get in free. Is all that right, Zane? Yep. Okay, and you can find all the info about the event in our on-air section of our website, kdvr.com. We'd love to see a lot of money raised for that foundation. It's take it over to Red Rocks. And Zane, have you ever worked out at Red Rocks? What's that? Have you ever worked out at Red Rocks? Have you ever done the stairs over there? Um, yes, I have actually. Have you really? Yes. You like going to concerts out there too? Uh, I love going to concerts out there. Since you like there. going to concerts, why don't you tell folks what the weather's going to be like in Morrison since uh, we have Keith Urban uh -oh. and Little Big Town coming tonight. Uh, in Morrison, uh... <laughs> Looks like we're oh, at, wow. uh, by noon today, we're going to be at 86, a there high of 89, and um, it's, uh, it's going to be a warm one up there. Yeah, and you, you, know, you know all about, you know, uh, with those temperatures really hot out there right now. you got to come forward. i got to stand next to you just so folks can see the height difference. I'm going to take off my heels. Okay, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> How tall are you? I'm um, six, four and a half. Okay, well, oh my put my God. heels back on then. <laughs> Let's talk about the temperatures. It's 69 degrees right now downtown, coming in at 71 degrees. And just take you right on through. Uh, today hitting 93, 64 tonight. Zane, put your hand on that tomorrow. Right Right, right there. on tomorrow. Well, look what you did. <laughs> Change the map. <laughs> magic, Yay. the magic of TV. Yeah. We do have quite a few clouds out there right now. So the temperatures, it feels pretty good. You were just outside, Oops. right? Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, we're going to take our future cast. This is going to show what's going to happen heading into the afternoon. Okay. So I'm going to take you from this morning, showing you the state, because of course we have a lot of people traveling this weekend. Right. Where the, where the rain shower is going to hit? Uh, we've got some uh, moisture <laughs> down here. It uh, doesn't look like it's too bad anywhere, though, but there's a little bit here in the, the Denver area. You got it. You got it. Yeah. We're going to see a chance of those thunderstorms coming. I better run. For <laughs> Like, not only are you a great player, you might be really good at weather, too. We are looking at a chance of those thunderstorms coming on in for the late afternoon, early evening. Now, tomorrow morning, a passing shower or two possible. Tomorrow afternoon, any ideas as to what might happen? Uh, looks like we got much more chance of rain here in the Denver area and, and, uh, and along the front range there. We do. We actually, yes. because we have a front coming through, that's going to knock our temperatures back a little bit for Sunday. So as far as those high temperatures today, we are going to get a real hot one hitting 92 in Fort Collins, 92 in Superior. High temperature of what's happening in Thornton? 
Uh, 93 with some, uh, looks like some thunderstorms. Chance of those thunderstorms in the afternoon and a high of 90 in Sedalia. Now our pinpoint weather, seven day forecast. All right, Zane, you know there's a big game coming on Sunday and I have a bet with our traffic guy, Ken. Okay. I'm rooting for CSU. He's rooting for CU. Who are you going to root for? Ooh. Um, man, that's a tough one. CSU, when I played, was in the Mountain West with me. CU's now in the Pac-12 with the Utes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go, go with CSU. I'm going to go with CSU. Yeah, go Rams. An another, <laughs> another one supporting them. And by the way, if Ken, if, if CSU wins, then Ken has to do my workout. So Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Let's step on yeah. out so folks can see the full, full view of the seven-day forecast. Great, great, great job doing that. We are going to get that temperature of 87 on Sunday. And Labor Day, Lynn, 90 degrees. The, the good thing is, Jen, he's too big for the weather wall. I know. He's cutting off his head, so you have nothing to worry about. Hey, he did a well, great job. Well, now you know job. why Peyton feels safe. <laughs> yeah. And we, yeah. we all feel a little safer.